It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Chicago Bears. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. It's a rivalry that dates back to 1921. The Packers and Bears are underway from Chicago. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Williams now on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert. Nice little juke. And he'll be taken down the ball before he works it past the 50. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one, but occasionally the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly, maybe someone tipped it off, but on that play, it had no chance. Pass complete into Steven Carlson, and he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Williams, 
to throw on second down. They'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 28. Given 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Preston Smith there on the stop. This is second and eight. Looking to throw. Williams. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Operating from the gun, Williams. And that is incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now, he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Love. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. First down, love to pass. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown, is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Now second and five. Now a toss to the left for Jacobs. 
trying to find some space to turn upfield, but this defense having none of it. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. One of the toughest things for an offensive lineman to learn is the ability to get in space and hit people who are moving targets. And linebackers are not easy ones to hit because they know how to move, juke, and make you miss. And that's exactly what he did on that play. A nice play for the defense. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat able to run him down for a 15-yard loss. And it will be fourth down. Tried to create a little bit of that hocus-pocus with some magic. But the defense, not impressed at all. They don't lose contain on this very dangerous runner, and they get a big stop. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Jones on the return. Called out a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and it's still to give up the middle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That was all Preston Smith navigating into the backfield. He gets the tackle for loss. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers. But in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Now here's a throw, it's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And now third down and six to go. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. Following the interception, Love. And that one to the right side and incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Second and ten. Counter play with Jacobs. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 35. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete, and he's going to have a Packers first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. First down, going to the air with Love. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. 
As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Here's Love. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 18. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Stopped on the play by Connor Gordon. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. They work now on second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They go with Jacobs. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Jacobs will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. This defense is really fooling around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 
first down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and five. Back to throw, Williams. And this is caught at the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A gain of 37. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Looking to throw, Williams. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Now Williams looking to throw on second down, and that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Coverage was great everywhere that time. He tried to get it to his outlet, tried to get it to his running back, but sailed it a little bit too high and actually left his body open for a big hit. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Back to throw, Williams. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled it to 15. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 15. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So from the 22, here's second and two. A handoff, Jacobs running to the left. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. On first and ten, Love. And that 
is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's second and ten. To throw now, here's Love. Got his man, that's Luke Musgrave. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. It's been tough sledding on the ground, but after that first down pickup, they've got to gain a little bit more confidence and feel good about starting a new set of downs trying to move the ball. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. On play action, love to throw. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get and the more calm and control you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now a second and ten. Working out of the gun. Love. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Throwing, love, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards, but instead, offense out there. They're going for it. He's got it. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Onto the field now come the Bears. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday you have to press it a little bit. This might be the case. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Looking to throw. Williams. There's the tight end, Carlson. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. 
It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. Taking it about the 36. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's a four-receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Now Love. Throw out wide is incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and eight to pass. Here's Jordan Love. That is caught. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The quickly out wide, this is Watson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Jacob's going to try the middle. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Here's second and seven. Once again, it's Jacobs. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Love from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Love now. Throw caught by Musgrave. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Love looking to throw it. 
Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Here's Jacobs. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. Oh, what a luxury it is to be able to call on a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. It's one play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Operating from the gun, Williams. He's going to have the hook up to Scott. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's Williams on first and 10. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. He's been the forgotten man in this first half, not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Williams. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Swift. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. 
Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there getting the safeties involved in run support. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Johnson will take it in. Touchdown, Bears. And this is where you can't help but think about our friend, the coach, the late John Madden, because this was his kind of football right here. Line them up and let them get after it down in the trenches. And as a running back, you just need that one crease, one side of daylight. He finds it, and he barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, coach, just like you would draw it up. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And the lead is cut to one at 14-13. After the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. You know where I'm fantasy. going. Fantasy. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now, and they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You know? I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. I enjoy watching you You're an you analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Okay. I was a champ in my book. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. But no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. Second down, Love. Well, he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of them, it's low and incomplete. And they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. This time they stay on the ground. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Here's Jones. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. 
He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Well, the Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also... They've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and... And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Off the play fake, Love. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Love, they go play action now. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And they'll come up second and seven. Play action this time with Love. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder and harder to defend because now it's elite athletes playing that position, not just the big guys who can block. How about his ability to get downfield and make plays against any defense? Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. 
No run back here for Jones, a touchback. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. It's showtime, baby. Let's go, brother. They'll come up facing third and five. Back to throw. Williams. Pass is caught. He finds Scott. And he will have the Bears first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Moore, the man in motion. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wide run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Big Kenny Clark that time, pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Unfortunately for you, you've been around me for a little while now, so you know me as well as anyone and how I look at a game. I don't ever advocate abandoning anything. But in this case, I'm going against my own thought process. You've got to change it up. you got to start throwing it around a little bit, finding ways to try and move the ball because keeping on the ground just isn't working for them. Yeah, maybe get him the ball out of the passing game or swing pass outside or something, just something to vary it up. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Williams now to throw on second down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Williams to throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the 
let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Right back to Swift again on second down. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Here now a third down and eight. Operating from the gun, Williams. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And that drive is going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down. But on that one, the defense rose up and said, enough of that. On is Santos for the Bears field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Santos kick is up and through. And that'll get the lead down to five. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. the main field goal Santos back out there to kick it away Nixon elects not to return it and this comes out to the 25 Jordan Love in this offense ready to get the football back five for five that last drive touchdown pass as well he was clicking receivers I don't want to be cliche but running really solid routes too and what I love about it is when you look across any team all right the body types of the receivers are usually different the way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know to push off at the end of the route, too. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Second down, Jacobs once more. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Here's Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this will be caught at the 30. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 46 yards. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope <laughs> someone would come free. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. 
They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. The kick by Joseph is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On the ground, it's swift to start the drive. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And we've seen this a few times in this game. That offensive line just, I don't know if you want to call it out physical, out toughed, whatever you want to use. And what people do when that is happening, when they're getting dominated that way, they spread things out a little bit, make it more of a space game, and allow your skill position players to make a few plays out in open field. Take away the physical element, gives you a chance. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. A first down carry here for Johnson. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and nine. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and eight. Looking to throw, Williams. And this is going to be incomplete. I can assure you setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. 
The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. First down, love to pass. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, that one fell incomplete after being tipped in the air. But I have to tell you, I had a bad flashback of going to head to the stadium stairs in practice because what we were always taught, any ball like that, if it's not spiked towards the ground and you actually tip it up, then that's an error on your part because now you've given hope to the offense maybe help create a big play for them instead of going up and either intercepting it or knocking it down. I ran many a stadium step for my errors. Working out of the gun, love. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. On now is the Packers punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Here's Jones on the return. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air Absolutely. under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Operating from the gun. Williams. Packer pressure and down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. The pass rush pressure is really starting to increase on the quarterback now. They bring him down for a sack and a big loss. And back him up further as he tries to lead a scoring drive in a one-possession game here late. And let's see the Packers defensively, six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. Throwing there, but this pass is gonna wind up incomplete. Just a disaster of a series here. Third and long, no one open anywhere. This ball just has to be thrown to the sideline. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards of punt as he gets this away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Throwing. Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Ball on the 30 now. Here, second down and eight. Complete once again to Watson. 
And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Just more of the same here. That's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. Love now to pass on first down. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 22. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Again, it's love. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up second down. Play fake. Here's Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. On play action. Love to throw. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. Even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, with him trailing here in the second half, maybe his legs can try to give this offense a spark. And that's the benefit of having a young quarterback, right? Having a rookie, a guy who will say, hold on a second, I have a little bit of fearlessness to my game. It isn't working as well the other way. Let's see what I can do to help my team this way. And boy, he did it there. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play.
After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think that part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Williams. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Back to throw again. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 11 yards for number 11. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw again. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Ball on the 27. Here's a second down and four. Again, he'll drop to throw. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. In motion right goes Allen. On third down, here comes Swift. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and run the option. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. A little read option, the end result, the first down, so a good read. And the way teams are running it nowadays, they've added variety to it. You know, the original way was you read the defensive end. If he crashes down, you pull it and you go. Now they may not even block that person, may end up reading the linebacker, may read the cornerback. Just depends on how they want to block it up. In any case, this worked well for them. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. Touchdown! Cole Komet, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears get a bit closer. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. 
gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Santos with the extra point as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. For the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Christian Watson and the rest of this offense back out now. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Slam around, he's got Dobbs. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. The run throw finds its target, Dobbs. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Off the play fake, Love. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. And it's third and short. Love, they go play action now. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. So now the Bears down by eight, 218 on the clock. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and ten. start the drive he's got Allen and he goes out right around the 39 I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there didn't they did their job forced the punt now nice start to the drive offense has to do their part yeah they certainly do but what a great start for them and they've got to go thank the guys on D here comes second down at five looking to throw Williams the throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. A big play looming on third down. Back to throw, Williams. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. 
Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Williams throw complete there to Moore. Now second and four. He'll look to throw. That'll be caught. It's Scott. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Now that is the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. Here's first down. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about its desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Back to throw. That's going to be caught. And so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Now first and goal. Back to throw. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here, now a two-point conversion will tie the game. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw. It's caught at the one. And he's going to get in. So the two-point conversion successful, and we've got ourselves a tie football game. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The clock stopped, 50 seconds to play, second and 10. Love looking to throw it. Throw left side complete, that's Reed.
All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Now Love. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. They'll come up first and ten here. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here comes second down. Jacob's going to try the middle. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. Love with a give to Dillon. And he won't get close. Only a yard. Fourth and three. A little extra pressure with this one for Greg Joseph. He's hit on his one earlier attempt tonight, but this, a little more pressure packed for the win. And this one is right down the middle. And there'll be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night from Chicago.